Hey guys, I'm Roger Dodger Gaming, and today we are playing Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. We are on episode 14, and we are on a very uh, fun different level. So this level requires a little bit of backtracking, like some of the previous levels at the start of the game. Um, in order to collect all the orbs, uh, specifically the last orb in this level, you have to get... Uh, up the power up that's like the last power up in the game which is a head bash so at the end there's a clip basically me completing that and yeah so the goal of this uh, level is to basically free all the guys that are encased in stone and they uh, use their magical song as you can hear to break the stone castle and re uh, release their temple basically free their temple from the stone so, yeah, uh, and then also, as always, we have to collect the 400 gems, and in this level, there are three orbs. So, yeah. Cool. I like this level a lot, um, particularly because I feel like it's, it's very different. Like, uh, there's not many levels in the game where you have to, like there's specific things you have to do in order to kill like you can't just um these stone enemy guys you can't just fire blast them or you can't just ram them you have to ram them into a thing and they're like the, they're the only enemies like that in the game really they're they're um in, they're used to get in later levels where you have to kind of do the same thing but it's interesting and one of the perks is when you beat the game is uh, you get a special fire blast, and that fire blast can just one shot him, which is really fun. So you can you don't really have to worry too much about him. Uh, another cool thing about this game is this is one of the few areas in the game. I think this is the only area where there's like hidden enemies. So they they have like the bush guys that look exactly like other bush guys, like the exactly like other bushes. So, at least they did more in the original. This one has, you can see their eyes, but normally they just, like, hang out as a bush, and then all of a sudden they'd attack you. So you kind of wanted to burn all the bushes. Just so you didn't, um, get killed by one. Yeah. So, I believe there's six we have to free. So that's two. I'm going to, yeah, see how it kind of is, uh, stationary. You can't see his eyes, and then he, uh, when you get closer, he awakens and tries to eat you uh, I think this was this level was very uh, this guy bobbing and weaving he does not like my bobbing and weaving he does not like it at all so yeah I think this level was really um, well designed I I used to be kind of annoyed with the especially after playing it so many times with the uh, music like the bagpipes and stuff but I don't know it's grown on me uh, I'm really excited to potentially this week I, I had some technical issues with the uh, draft league so it was supposed to come out last week but it should come out this week and I believe Ori will come out this week as well which is really exciting. I'm really looking forward to uh, diving into new content. And uh, the Draft League I've really been enjoying. I'll probably have more Draft League content on the channel. Uh, as I continue to grow and learn more and more and become a better player. Which is really exciting because I, it's something I really enjoy. And um, have been okay at. So uh, not to spoil any of my record or anything not to spoil anything about it so uh, we um the three three orbs i think three orbs. Is there th yeah there's three orbs the three orbs the first orb is basically it's uh where you have to find up uh, i'm killing all the enemies roughly around here to be able to power up the gate which is a special power up that makes you go pretty fast and you need that power up and you're able to uh, get the first orb where you have to basically clear out the tunnel 
and charge and free a lady who's trapped in one of the buildings. Alright, there's only one left, so I believe he's up on like a kind of mountain type thing. So, yeah. Let's... Alright, so we're right at uh, the uh, first orb guy over here. I'm gonna take a little detour and collect, uh, kill a few more of these guys just so I have a um, little more, like, a little bit more to charge up the uh, portal type thing. The gate, I guess. I don't know what the, I forget what they call it. I think it's called the gate in the game. Yeah, but um, so the second um orb basically in this level is where you have to basically do what I'm doing and just kind of knock these guys out of the way. To there is a um alchemist, I believe, is what they is his game name. Um, where you have to he's made a potion to free Hunter, who has been encased in stone by these guys and you need to uh, protect the alchemist knock these guys out of the way before they can hit him so he doesn't drop his potion and then um, you have to free so this is where the for, uh, orbs I have no idea how that happened now I'm just like yeah Th these guys have incredible uh, reach to be able to be floating midair, and I'm not near them, and they kill me, or not kill me, but hurt me. All right, so this is where the first orb is. As I said, so the goal is going to be able to free her friend from that room, and we need to uh, react, uh, go through the gate, and get the power up. I'm just going to check quickly. To make sure I didn't forget any gems, uh, which I think I didn't. Um, and I guess I should free this satyr, which I saw. All right, so I'm gonna free him, who is the final one, and then that will unlock the temple, which is where we get the f uh, talisman for this world. And then we need to do um, collect the three orbs. So the final orb, which I haven't got to yet, was um, basically after you free Hunter, you need to um, take revenge on the stone guys, I guess. And so this is where you see Hunter. He's going to talk briefly to you. I'm going to skip that because I'm going to come back to it later. So yeah, once you free him, he'll give you an orb and then you have to attack the um, stone guys and seek out your revenge, I guess. Um, yeah, and then it'll give you another orb once you've defeated them all. But you can only do that once you obtain the head bash ability. And uh, the, where I think there's like one other level like this where you have to, I, yeah, where you have to um, have that head bash ability before you do. So I think it's, yeah, I think it's the last level. Uh, no, it's, it's, Probably, I think it's probably the next level I'll do. I forget exactly what order I do them in. But yeah. Alright, so we're going to avoid these guys. And we shall get the um, through the gate here. And get the super speed and break through the gates like that. And yeah. I've also been playing a lot of the Avengers lately. So that might also come to the channel. Hopefully... I think Ori I was going to do Monday, so maybe, um, maybe Tuesday, Tuesday or maybe Wednesday, give myself a little break in the thing, but I'm hoping, my goal is to eventually do content every day of the week, which would be incredible to be able to do that, and there we go, we broke through the gate and now we should get our first orb and yeah and then uh there's one other thing you have to have the uh the gate power to be able to do there is a little um in the far corner over there there is a i just cut to it 
there is a uh one of those silver chests that you need uh to be super powered in order to break so i am going to as you can see run right over in over there and successfully crash directly into the chest collecting all the gems and then there the only um other gems that are left in this level are the ones in the temple which we freed from stone so i'm gonna head over there and collect the final gems uh our final to have that and then we'll also get the talisman and then i will make a small cut and we will be back all right so here we go that's the um final yeah, there we go. All 400 gems. Oh, I think hi, it got cut off for some reason in it, the screen. So now that we are getting our talisman for the um, level, I have one more thing I have to do, and that is to, once we've collected that, I will head through the portal, and we will be back here with the uh, headbutt ability. All right, so we're back, and now I'm going to Great. Just keep those accept the uh, keep task for the second orb. So basically, what we have to do is defend him from the um, these guys, the stone guys, and so you just headbutt him and let him. Basically, he picks the worst path, as most video game characters do when you're picking the like follow. Uh, protect the person quest and they go right into the line of fire as always um also i hope to potentially in the future just as a heads up uh yesterday it was released the super mario all-star 3d mario games where it has a uh, super mario sunshine super mario uh 64 i think mario 64 or something like that and then mario galaxy I have not played two of those games before, uh, Sunshine and 64, so I am very excited to do that, and I love Super Mario Galaxy, so I am hopefully going to be Man, playing potentially all three on the channel at some point. Alright, so we have finally freed him. This is the second orb. I had already collected it previously, so it's going to say I collected it, here, like but uh, yeah, earth you can't proceed to the second orb without doing it so now we have all those orbs and yeah this will be the final orb so we just need to basically um he's gonna shoot arrows at the stone guys and as you do we need to do use our new ability to head bash and break them so we're gonna continue to do that. He does it in whatever order he chooses. I don't understand why it has the lightning effect. I feel like that wouldn't be very effective on stone, but I don't know. And I, I like the, I appreciate the detail on having like them sleeping and stuff. I think that's nice. All right. Well, all right, so only a few more to get and we shall get the final orb and have 100% the level. I'm going to make a small cut afterwards just to, there we go. Um, now that we have all this complete, I can collect the final orb and we will have 100% the level. Alright, so now I'm going to make a small cut. So I don't have to show re watch, have you guys watch recompleting the level. And we are heading home. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really enjoy if you guys leave a comment. I appreciate hearing you guys' feedback. And if you like and subscribe, that would really help me out. I, I love getting, you know, um, you know, feedback on my videos. What you like, what you don't like. Um, yeah. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.